At the heart of this vulnerability is a failure to apply Mark of the Web. Windows uses Mark of the Web to help us identify files that may come from untrusted sources, such as the internet, web dev shares, SMB shares, etc. Under normal circumstances, if we download files from the web, these files would get a designation, which would tell Windows Defender Smart Screen to alert you if this file tries to execute or if you tried to execute this file directly. If, however, in the case of this vulnerability, Windows Defender Smart Screen protections are bypassed, the decision has already been made for you. Water Hydra, also known as Dark Casino, is an advanced persistent threat that commonly targets stock, crypto, forex, and other financial traders, as well as banks and casinos. Water Hydra was able to exploit this vulnerability by chaining multiple internet shortcut files together. Water Hydra enticed victims into clicking on malicious internet shortcuts. These internet shortcuts referenced additional internet shortcuts, with the end of the chain being a malicious script. Due to the nature of this chaining, Microsoft Windows Defender Smart Screen protections were completely bypassed. This means that once the user clicked on the initial internet shortcut, a series of executions would occur on the machine without their knowledge. Under normal circumstances, Windows Defender would alert you, hey, would you like to execute the script? To the knowledge of the user, nothing is occurring. Under the background, dark me is being delivered to the victim and a full infection chain is occurring. Zero day abuse is especially alarming in that it signifies that threat actors or the bad guys are aware of a security issue in a product before the vendor of that product is even aware. This allows highly sophisticated and motivated threat actors like Water Hydra ample time to develop complex attack chains that include a zero day vulnerability to go directly after the user base of these products. Since the vendor is unaware of a security issue, the entire user base of these products are potentially vulnerable to things such as ransomware, data loss, financial loss, as well as other loss of personal and sensitive information. In order to get to the zero day exploit, we first had to exploit someone into clicking on a malicious link. This is where the proper education and training come into play in order to ensure that individuals know the risks and ramifications associated with clicking on malicious links from the internet. Another way in which organizations can help protect themselves is by ensuring that they do not have a single point of failure in their security posture. Another way in which organizations can help protect themselves is by practicing a security fundamental known as defense in depth. That is, different security solutions have their own strengths and should be used in combination to provide a comprehensive security posture, similar to how a castle has walls, moats, and towers to help protect against an invading army. Another way in which organizations can help protect themselves from a threat such as these is by understanding the complex threat landscape. Different APT groups are motivated by different things, some by financial reward, others by espionage, and others by pure destruction. Organizations can also protect themselves by fully understanding the tactics, techniques, and procedures deployed by various threat actors. Similar to a signature, Many different APT groups use the same tactics, techniques, and procedures over and over again. Mm -hmm.